Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Tatiana. Good evening, Jorge. I see Jenny, Cassia, Alexandra, Mercedes, Edwin, Mario, Manuel. Okay, so how about your Thursday? How was it? How was your Thursday? Good, so, so. Awesome. Awesome, okay, very good. Good evening, Edwin. Okay, so well, today uh, is going to be uh, our class number eight. Okay, so let me share my screen. Let me see, I'm going to share my screen. Give me one second. Okay, guys, so today, let me see. Yes, you can see it. All right, so today we are going to continue with unit eight. Okay, so we are going to cover vocabulary and we are going to um, check other uh, topic, okay, which is about grammar placement of adjectives, yeah? This topic is very interesting, okay? And it is uh, really nice. So let's see. Remember that the name of the unit number eight is what do you do? That is the name. So to begin with, we are going to start with yesterday's activity, yeah? Do you remember that I told you that today we are going to cover this? So let's see, I need one volunteer, well, two volunteers to read. I need two volunteers. Uh -huh. Two volunteers. Alexander Giselle, very good. I need another one. Me? Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Okay, Alexandra, help us reading from what it says. Uh, let me see, I can see. Okay, from I'm an English teacher, and then Tatiana, you are going to start where it says after I get back till the end. Okay? Okay. Okay. Go, Alexandra. Hey, Mr. Miller, I'm an English teacher, and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at 6 o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students' homework and tests. Perfect. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise eat dinner with my family and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We, we love to watch travel shows. Mm -hmm. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Very good. Okay, so finally I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay. Let's see, what is the meaning of uh, fall asleep? What does it mean? What is the meaning of fall asleep? I fall mm. asleep. Como relil, ren... Okay, so in this case, I fall asleep, me duermo. Ah, okay. Yes, cuando usted se duerme completamente. I fall asleep. Yes, se duerme completamente. Completely. Yes? Yes. Um, very good. Let's see. Any question about vocabulary? Mm. Uh -huh. Questions about vocabulary? Uh, what is the meaning of fell? Which one? 
fell. Which so, line? Finally, I read in that for a fell. Oh, for a few. Okay. Few. few. Por unos pocos minutos. Okay, gracias. Unos pocos minutos. Ajá. Any other question? Before. Before. Uh -huh. Before means antes. Okay. Yeah, before means antes. Uh -huh. Guys, whenever we say elementary school, ¿cuál es la elementary school? Es como la primaria, eh, sería quizás como de primero a, a, a tercero o a, o a quinto. Aquí. Comidas principales. Oh, elementary school. Eh, como Carlos Israel acaba de mencionar. Eh, in this case, the elementary school es desde el uh, primero, ok, desde primero a quinto. Elementary school. Y después viene la high school en todo caso. Eh, no, después de quinto tenemos sexto a... Sexto. Eh, noveno. A noveno. ¿Cómo se llama esa, ese, ese lapso de estudio en inglés? Se llama middle school. Oh, ok. Middle school. Y ya el bachillerato es el high school. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have elementary school, ok. Then middle school and then high school. Uh -huh. Yes, very good, right? Excellent. All right, let's move and let me ask you the question. What job does Mr. Miller have? He's an English teacher. He is an English teacher. And what time does Mr. Miller get up every morning? At he get up at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Excellent. And the last one. What kinds of TV shows does he love to watch? Hello. He watches he okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's move. Excellent. Now let's move to this activity. Yes. It says we need to use the above letters to make present simple verbs for each word. You can only use each letter one time. Okay, guys, this is just for us to see if we have a lot of verbs. Okay. With the words that you see here. Okay. With those words. Can you give me verbs? Give me verbs. Con estas mm. letras que tenemos aquí, denme verbos que usted identifique. Cree verbos. Uh -huh. We have one. Read. Uh -huh. Dance. Dance. Okay. Sleep. Walk. Dance. Sleep. Walk. Sit. Talk. Let me see. Let me see. No. Okay. Mm, ah, but walk. We don't have W. Aquí no tenemos W para walk. No, With those. Con no. eso que está aquí. With, mm, go. Okay. Run. 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 Uh -huh. Run. Okay. No, has, has, okay, aha. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Okay. Eh, rice, okay. Good. A uh, good, very good. Uh -huh. Rice, rice, guess. Disculpe. What is the meaning of rice, guys? This one? Eh, it's eh, uh, elevar, su, elevar surgir, algo. Surgir, surgir, surgir. Uh -huh. Here, elevar. Yes. Hide. Okay. Hide. Uh, let me see. Very good. Hide. What is the meaning of hide? Como esconder. Esconder. Uh -huh. uh, fight. Uh, let me see. 
Ngau. Mm. Teacher Cavar, espero que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Es dig o dead. Dig like this. Ah, sí, es. Yes, dig. Dig. Uh -huh. um, feed and with and feeding. Sing. Oh, okay. Uh, sing. Ah, very good. Uh -huh. Harden. Which one? Harden. Harden. H A R. English. Harden. A. De endurecer. H. H A A R E E N. Like this? No, Arden. H A. In English, Carlos Israel. H A Yes. R D E A A Okay. N. Con in English. <laughs> okay, so H A R D A A okay. No, it's, 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 it's E. E okay. Mm, okay. All right. Very good. Yes. Uh huh. Very good, and guys. Uh huh. We also can add C. Uh huh. Uh, shot. Used. Okay. Shot. Shot. Spell it, Jose. S. S H O O T. S H O O T. Okay. Yes. Very good. In Spanish, Use. is disparar. Very good. Uh, which one? Use. Use. Okay. Use. Send. Very good. Uh, kill. Kill. Okay. Tire. Yeah. Uh, tire. Mm, tire is um an action. An, oh. an adjective. Adjective. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Another one that you maybe create. Mm -hmm. Rent, okay. Uh, yeah. To drink. Drink. Let me see if we can drink. Yes. Uh, well, okay. We don't have the K, but yes, drink. All right, guys. Very good. I can see that you have a lot of birds. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, let's move. And let's start with the grammar focus, okay? Placement of adjectives. Yes, this is very important in English, guys. This topic is very important. So we have verb to be plus the adjective. Look at this. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Okay, yes. so let's see. What is a, a fighter fight? A fighter fighter's uh, job is dangerous. A police and bomber. Numero. Okay, but in this case, look at this. Look at the adjective, okay? So, estamos diciendo que... ¿Qué estamos diciendo peligroso. en la número El trabajo de los bomberos es peligroso. Yes, que, es peligroso. yes que el trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. Peligroso. Is dangerous. Okay? Y el de los doctores es estresante. Yes, is stressful. Correct. This one is the verb to be plus the adjective. Yes, mire, tenemos el verbo to be, el cual es is. Y después tenemos el adjetivo, el adjective. Yes. Then we also have adjective plus noun. So, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Un bombero tiene un trabajo uh -huh. peligroso. peligroso. Pero, which is the difference? Look at this, guys. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Fíjese. El lugar donde ponemos el adjetivo. 
Yes. Fíjense en, en la estructura. Then a doctor has a stressful job. Yes. Look at that. Okay. Now, let's see. Bye. Vamos a movernos a esto. Que necesito que veamos antes de pasar a los ejercicios. So, the placement of adjectives. So, this means el posicionamiento de los adjetivos. Placement, ok? El posicionamiento of adjectives. Look at this. We have the first structure. Yeah, this is the first structure. So, we have subject, verb to be, a or an. When necessary, cuando sea necesario, no se le olvide que vamos a agregar el a y el an. Yes. Plus adjective, plus noun. Vale. Look at this. Margarita is an excellent teacher. Yes. We are amazing students. Margarita is an excellent teacher. This is the adjective. Fíjese bien. This is the adjective. Esta parte de aquí. Y esto es el noun. Yes. So, we are amazing students. Nosotros somos increíbles estudiantes. Yes. They are Beautiful girls. They are. No necesitamos a ni a porque es plural. Entonces nos pasamos. Beautiful adjective. Noun. Girls. They are beautiful girls. He is. He is. Ajá. Uh a. -huh, uh, Hardworking person. Hardworking. Yes, que trabaja arduo, dedicado, hardworking. Okay. I am an interesting person. I am an interesting person. I am an interesting person. Yes? So, if I want to say, si yo quisiera decir entonces, nosotros somos, ok, nosotros somos, eh, nosotros somos, let me see. We are the champion. We are the champions, yes, pero eh, en este caso tenemos que encontrar esa estructura. Sí, esa estructura. Entonces, podríamos utilizar nosotros somos campeones increíbles. Porque tenemos que agregar el adjetivo. Entonces, ¿cómo diríamos nosotros somos campeones increíbles? We, we are, are the we incredible, are incredible champions. 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 Very good. Ok, like that. We need to place the adjective. First, y de ahí, champions, que es el noun. Ok. Then, we also have subject. This is the second structure. Subject, have or has. When do we use have? Which pronouns? I, you, we, and they. And has, he, she, he, and she, they. it. Very good. A or an, when necessary, again, adjective and noun. Yes? So we have, a firefighter has a dangerous job, the one that we covered. Then, Mario has an amazing teacher. Has, Mario. Mario has an amazing teacher. Yes? And then we have, we have, an incredible supervisor. Yes, and then they have a good boss. Jefe 
supervisor. Jefe, supervisor. Yes? Uh -huh. So, do you have questions? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. Um, I have one question. Yes. Uh, has, uh, what's the mean? Is, uh, tener. Tener, pero yes. en pasado. No, this is present. For oh. example, yes. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. Mario tiene un maestro increíble. Yes. Nosotros tenemos un supervisor increíble. Ellos tienen un buen jefe. So present. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Excellent, Jose. Okay, so now let's go back. Okay, guys, say each sentence in a different way. So, vamos a decirle en, un, en, un, en, un, en una manera distinta. So, we have a musician's job is interesting. Eh, Elizabeth? Sí, es que tengo una pregunta. Yes. Respecto al A y al AN, eh, no me quedó claro como en qué momento utilizo A o en qué momento utilizo AN. Es cuando, según mí, eh, cuando de, va a depender del adjetivo que estamos usando. Correct. Yes. It depends on that. Yes. Así es. Depende del adjetivo. Pero eh, depende más que todo, en este caso, si es singular, plural y qué tipo de adjetivo sea. Recordemos mm -hmm. que el A y el AN, guys, lo utilizamos para qué? Para singulares. ¿Sí? Porque significa un or una o uno. ¿Yes? Entonces, si yo quiero decir Margarita is una maestra excelente, entonces aquí sí tengo que poner el an, porque digo Margarita es una maestra excelente. Una. ¿Yes? Entonces pongo an. ¿Pero por qué an? Porque el adjetivo... Porque el adjetivo que le sigue a an empieza con vocal. Ok, muchas gracias. Yes, very good. Por eso, ok, porque comienza con vocal. Yes, recordemos cuando es singular y el adjetivo comienza con consonante, cuando se lo pronuncia, entonces eh, va a ser la letra a. He is a hard working person. Yes, porque comienza con consonante, la pronunciación es con consonante. Y estamos hablando de singular. Plural, bien, no agregamos, ¿ve? Porque es plural. En las dos, we are, they are, no lo agregamos porque es plural. Yes? Very good. Okay, so now let's move. Let's uh, let's go back, guys. Okay. Say each sentence in a different way, we have a musician's job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job. What about number two? An athlete's job is exciting. An athlete uh, has, have has? Exciting, has exciting job. Yes, an athlete has an exciting job. Okay. Yes. Entonces, la número dos sería an, déjeme, an athlete has an, ajá, an exciting job. Yes. What about number three? A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer, a lawyer has, has a stressful job. A stressful job. Very good. Number four. 
A security guard has a boring job. Uh -huh. A security. A security uh -huh. guard. Job. Job. Is boring. Is boring. Aquí le vamos a poner el apóstrofe. A security guard job is boring. Okay. A photographer has a difficult job. Sería a photographer. Photographers. Photographers. Um, job is is difficult. Difficult. Uh -huh. And the last one, a police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer officer's job is dangerous. Officer's job is dangerous. Okay. All right. It says think of one job for each adjective. Do your classmates agree? Okay, guys. Boring es aburrido. Vaya, y aquí quiero que usted se fije. Y, y eso sí, anótelo. Boring con ing no es lo mismo que nosotros digamos bored. Cuando usted dice estoy aburrido, usted no dice I am boring. Usted dice I am bored. Para que usted diga estoy aburrido es I am bored. Y entonces, ¿qué boring, teacher? Boring es aburrido también, pero boring con el ING, como usted lo ve aquí, es una característica de una cosa, de una persona o de una situación. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, teacher, I am boring. Entonces, ahí está diciendo que usted como persona es aburrido. Que usted es aburrido. Entonces, si usted es aburrido, pues eso es algo negativo porque entonces nadie va a querer tener contacto con usted porque usted es aburrido. No está aburrido, usted es aburrido. Entonces, acuérdese, esos dos adjetivos se utilizan para situaciones distintas. Entonces, no vaya a decir, I am boring. Va a decir, I am bored. Yes. Vale. Se podría decir que uno es característica y el otro es estado. Correcto. Así, así. ¿Cuál? Uno es boring. Boring es característica y bored es estado de ánimo. Oh. Ok, vaya. Muy bien. Muy bien. Entonces, dice que en la número uno, boring, para el que escribió el ejemplo, Piensa que un trabajo aburrido es ser musician, músico. What about you? Do you think that that is boring? No, nothing. No, right. I think that no, no. Yo soy músico y no es aburrido. <laughs> no. Okay, yes, it's very uh, exciting, probably, right? Very exciting. Exciting. Uh -huh. Yes. So now give me a job that is easy. An easy job. A human rights activist. Okay. It's very easy. Okay. All right. What else? Another? A uh, nurse. Nurse? Easy? No, no. No. Um, no. It's very difficult. Thing. It's very difficult. Okay. Difficult. Number five. Difficult. difficult. Yes. Okay. A job that is easy, guys. Easy job. Mm. Ah, el presidente oh, sería... Um, president. I think, I think it doesn't exist. No, it doesn't exist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, maybe not, right? Because each job has... Uh, mm. yeah, pick, up, it, pick up trash. Um, 
Mm, actress. Cashier. Rush. The cashier, an actress. Mm. Probably. Mm. A teacher? <laughs> no, come on, husband. <laughs> <laughs> that is not easy, okay? Photographer. Ah, photographer, photographer. maybe. Photographer, maybe. Maybe. Now, dangerous. Yeah, police. Yes, policeman. B yes. Bomber. A firefighter. Firefighter. Uh -huh. fire, um, uh -huh. um. Um. I love security. Oh, what? Security guard. Security guard. Pilot. Um, electrician. Electrician. Electrician is very yeah. dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, ¿Cómo se dice mujer uh, trabajadora sexual? Es peligroso. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yes. That one is also a. Um, <laughs> Yes, it is dangerous, okay? <laughs> what about exciting? Something that is very exciting, emocionante. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, doctor is exciting, yes. The actress? Actress actor. is exciting. Actor, yes, of course. Very exciting. Um, uh -huh. Singing? No, no, no. ¿Cómo se dice cantante? Singer? Singer. Okay, uh-huh. Now give me difficult, difficult jobs. Doctors. Uh -huh. Judge. Yes. Nurse. Judge. Nurse. Uh -huh. Nurse. Um, Teacher. Nurse. Teacher, yes. Now, stressful. Stressful. Doctor, nurse. Doctor, uh, nurse. Police. Police, uh, yes, security guard, firefighter, firefighter, fire, 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 well, okay, very a driving. good. Uh, uh, bus driver, taxi driver. Bus driver. Yes, taxi drivers, is stressful, is stressful. Yes, very stressful. Okay, so let, let's see, guys. Let's see. Ask about a classmate. Um, Maria, do you have a job? Do you have a job? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Um, let me see. Cindy, do you have a job? No, I don't. Excellent. Mercedes Isabel, do you have a job? No, I don't. I don't, okay. Um, let me see. Jorge Mauricio, do you have a job? Uh, yes, I do. And where do you work? Uh, Solis, musician. Okay. And what do you do exactly? I play with my saxophone or my old boy. Okay. And different orchestra. Okay, and is your job interesting? Mm, well, más o menos. <laughs> so, so. So, so. Okay, and George, what time do you start work? What time do you start work? Yes. Uh, depending. It depends. Depends. Okay. Uh, but most of the time? Give me a time. Just to say a time. 
6 o'clock. Okay. And when do you finish work? What time you finish? Um, is work well uh, I work and um, a little uh -huh. a little hours okay and, but when do you finish at six at seven at nine uh, eight eight p.m okay yeah. and do you like your job yeah I do okay and what do you do after work uh, studying with my instruments. Okay, you study. Study. Okay, okay, very good, excellent. All right, guys, mm -hmm. perfect. Class activity. Now let's move to class activity, okay, where you are going to work together. Okay, in teams, you are going to create, and look at this, you are going to create a daily routine for Martha. She is a secretary. You need to create at least eight sentences. Yes? Me tiene que decir qué hace Marta en todo el día. Una rutina. Terceras personas. No se les olviden las reglas de los verbos. Yes? So eight sentences with your team, con su equipo. Vamos a irnos a diferentes breakout rooms y vamos a trabajar en equipos y uno del, del equipo va a mandar la fotografía de las oraciones al WhatsApp cuando ya, le, ya lo haya terminado. Yes? Ok. So, let's move. Let me see. Yes, let's move. Do you, do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? No, teacher, ahorita vamos a empezar. Ah, ok. Yes. Eh, let me see. María. Ok. Um, I am. Five a.m. And enter to work at seven a.m. Mm -hmm. she, uh -huh, she starts. She starts. Or Marta wakes up, wake up early in the morning. Wakes up. Wake up early. Uh -huh, that is. Yes. Siete de la mañana. Do you have questions? Pregunta. Solo de que en tercera persona sería verdad, Miss. Yes. Third person. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, um, six o'clock. Six o'clock because uh, she prepares she prepares uh, her breakfast. Breakfast. Uh, prepares. Creo que sí se escribe prepares. ¿Sí se te ir shower? Bueno, creo que es. Uh, <laughs> si quieren, hagamos una cada una. Voy a mandar ahorita <laughs> la primera y sigan otra oración y así. Ok. Bye. Ahí mandé la primera yo en el chat. She wakes up six. Ay, perdón, me equivoqué. Sería... 
porque no me no puse he wakes up six am because she prepares ah, she prepares se escribe como se lo mandé ahí en el chat okay ah. Ajá. okay okay she take a shower She, 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 uh, vamos a poner, she, she eats breakfast at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Luego de desayunar, que se va para el trabajo. Se va para el trabajo Ay. a las ocho, la tiene la hora. Mm -hmm. she... Mm -hmm. so, yeah, she she go to work at eight. Eight. I am. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Y podemos poner que ya llega al trabajo a las ocho y media. Pero no me acuerdo cómo se usaba para llegar a un lugar. Creo que era Esto Get. Voy a acá. Creo que era Get. Yes. She gets. Ajá. She gets. She gets. to work. Yes. To work. Y en el número 5, ella llega a su trabajo. En... Podemos poner como, como este, como break, como un receso durante la mañana del trabajo. Sí, toma. O, o podría ser ella realiza una presentación pero como está hablando estamos hablando de rutinas o sea de lo que ella siempre suele hacer y en un trabajo no creo que todos los días es como que tenga que hacer una presentación de trabajo <risa> pienso yo <risa> pienso ok entonces podría ser como se dijo ella eh, se toma un cáncer Así. Ajá, ajá, como un break de. Ajá, como. Eh, un descanso ajá. para. So. Para saludar a sus amigos, no sé. Sí, puede ser. Sí, por ahí. En este caso, um, trabajando. Sí. Mm. Sí, yo soy de reference. Ajá. Sería, she take a break. Eh, to say, I don't know, I eh, love the word friend. Ajá, friend. Ajá. Very good. Um, the mm. previous one, number four, sorry. Number four, she arrives. Eh, Con S. S arrives. 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 Third person, okay? Arrives. Third person. Okay. 
ओके ओके राइट Vamos por el número seis. Um, como so ocho. podemos poner como que um, she del almuerzo. She has have. She has a lunch. Ella. Yes. Ella tiene su almuerzo. Ella. Viene a comer. Dale a almorzar. Ajá. Parece ah. ella. Ok. She lives. She work at. At 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas oraciones llevamos? Una, dos, llevamos cuatro. Cinco. Cinco, mm, cinco, sí. cinco uh -huh. y. Con, y la con que esa, llega a su que casa. Esté. Y podríamos decir: She gets to house at 4 p.m. Mm. Let's creo, Sí, creo que sí. Bueno, la otra la puse así, se la voy a escribir acá. Ah, a las tres era. <ríe> sí, y la otra que llegaba a la casa. Ah, sí. Ajá. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo era que...? Ella llega a su casa a las cuatro. Sería como she gets to house at home. She gets home. Ajá, sería she gets home at home. Sí, creo que sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. sí, podríamos decir que, que ella toma la cena también. Uh -huh. She has. Ok, you finish. No, todavía no, mis. Ok, ok. Teacher, ¿cómo sería ella llega a su trabajo? Eh, she gets to work. Ah, gracias. Ah, ok. ¿A qué horas le puso que llegaba el trabajo? A las ocho. A las ocho. Y después, ella desayuna. Creo que no, porque ya ella, como que ya estamos hablando que ella llega al ah, trabajo no. a las ocho. Ella almuerza. Ajá. ¿Cómo le puse? Entonces, sería she has a lunch hat. No sabemos a qué hora le podemos poner. One, a la, a a la una. una. Sí. Uh -huh. 
sería she has a lunch o she has lunch she has lunch had one lunch y podemos poner y ella sale a las 5 de la tarde de su trabajo uh -huh. y pasa ella sale de su trabajo a las 5 llega a su casa y pasa tiempo con su familia sí ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo le puso usted? Ella sale de su trabajo. Miss, porque creo que sería mejor, ella finaliza su trabajo a las 5 de la tarde, sería mejor, ¿verdad? Miss? Ok, eh, puede decirla de las dos maneras, ¿ok? Puede decir, she finishes work at, y dice la hora. O puede decir, she leaves work at. La primera es, ella finaliza de trabajar a, y pone la hora. Y la segunda es, que ella sale del trabajo. Ah, gracias, Miss. Ok. Ok, ¿ready? Esa sería la última. Llevamos cinco, teacher. Ok. All right, continue, continue. Don't worry, okay? Bye. Uh -huh. Este, a las, ¿a qué hora le iba a poner que salía del trabajo? A las 5 de la tarde. At 5, 5 p.m. Okay, guys, you finish? Yes. Finish, teacher. Okay, yes. let me see. I think that you sent the picture. She get. Mm. Um, okay. Did you send the picture to the WhatsApp group? Yes. Sí, ahorita. Mm, okay, yes. Porque este que mandó, you know, she get up. Okay, she has breakfast. She takes the bus. She starts no, to no, work. Es el anterior. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go back, okay? Let's go to the main room, yes.
Okay, guys. I'm checking your your sentences. Very good. I see that you didn't miss the letter S. Veo que no se les olvidaron la letra S, así que está bien. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Antes de continuar, voy a tomar la asistencia. Okay, let me see. Creo que ya todos estamos aquí. Uh, yes, okay, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Alexandra Giselle Corena. Present. Thank you. Astrid Gabriela Navarrete. Astrid. Dice que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Ah, ok. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Escoto. No, presente. Thank you. Um, Carlos Israel Estrada. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vidal Gómez. Carlos Vidal. No. Cindy Estefany Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Um, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Damaris Milagro. No. Daniela Lisbeth Martínez. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Ediselda Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza. Ediselda. Edwin Giovanni Espinosa Melgar. Fabiola Jamilet Díaz Alas. Present. Thank you. Ingrid Astrid Asunción. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Jonathan David Sea Leiva. Present. Thank you. Jorge Mauricio Gutiérrez. Jorge Mauricio. Present. Thank you. José Alejandro Flores. Yes. Present. Thank you. Katia Mayerly Granados. Present. Thank you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Avilés Chacón. Present. Thank you. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Present. Thank you. Mercedes Isabel Acevedo Quesada. Present. Thank you, Mirna Yamilet Reyes. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortés. Present, teacher. Thank you, let me see, Elizabeth Pineda. Um, let me see, aquí, okay, thank you. All right, guys. Um, Okay, very good. Well, guys, uh, do you have any question related to the third person singular with the simple present tense? Pregunta de las uh, WH, del presente simple. Algo que les haya quedado duda de esta semana que vimos. I know. Is it clear? Todo claro? Yes? Bye, guys. Entonces, yes. De tarea le queda, ok, que tiene que repasar. El día lunes vamos a empezar otro tema. Entonces, tiene que repasar ya lo que ya vimos del presente simple. El lunes comenzamos con otro tema y eh, vamos a hacer un examen del presente simple el lunes, ok. So, guys, just because of the time, vamos a dejar hasta aquí la clase. I'll see you back on Monday and I hope you have a great weekend, ok. I'll see you back on Monday. Have a good night. Good night. Good Thank night. you. Thank good, you. Night. good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.